Hello all you wonderful YouTube viewers and welcome back to the Matt Video Productions channel. In today's video we're going to be exploring how you can enhance Dolly 2 prompts significantly with GPT-3 which is OpenAI who of course make Dolly 2. It's, it's their separate text generation model. It's a little bit older than Dolly 2 and it's free for anyone to use pretty much. I actually talked about it in my last video but it has many capabilities as we saw in my last video and you can definitely use it to either generate or enhance Dolly 2 prompts significantly and get much more rich images if that makes any sense. Before we get into any of that though I would like to mention that I have a discord server I've had one for some time a lot of you viewers have joined it but there is an invitation link down below free for anyone to join and uh, there, there's a lot of cool stuff going in here now we've got a general chat where you can chat about stuff suggest videos for this channel you can see when new videos are released and we actually do prompt suggestions here so if you have a prompt you want generated with dolly 2 or mid journey you can submit the prompt suggestion in this little prompt suggestions channel and as you can see we've been getting some pretty good uh, variations here and we've also got a channel for you just to post whatever AI generated media you want and uh, yeah just generally chat and stuff so it's a pretty cool little discord channel so I figured you guys could check it out with the link in the description below and I'm also on this discord so you can talk to me if you've got any uh, questions of any kind all right now moving on to our opening interesting AI generations for today's video. First of all, I really uh, thought this was interesting. This is, of course, generated by me, but I actually got the idea from someone on Reddit who used uh, the opening prompt of an electron microscope image. Whoops, my face is covering that. So you can take the electron microscope image and sort of attach it to whatever weird idea you want. So in this case, I said an electron microscope image of a tardigrade eating a burger. And it gave me a really interesting result. It really does look like a microscope image of a tardigrade eating a burger. Images are typically really small and like fuzzy. And like a burger is something you never see that small. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. We've also got plenty of other interesting generations here. And actually some really great examples of these GPT-3 enhanced prompts that I was uh, describing earlier. So all of these lovely scenes that you can see here, this is a fully GPT-3 generated prompt, and I actually did a video on GPT-3 generating prompts before, but I've sort of uh, mastered the technique, so to speak, now on how to get a good prompt out of GPT-3. That video was a little bit rougher, but it was still a really interesting video, and I'll link it down below. Anyways, GPT-3 came up with this prompt right here, which is... The mountains are towering over the valley below, their peaks shrouded in mist, the sun is peeking over the horizon, and the sky is ablaze with colors. The river is winding its way through the valley, and there are trees starting to turn yellow and red. So it came up with this beautiful scene, and all of these are really fantastic. This one's easily my favorite. I posted it on social media in a few places, but yeah, it really just nailed every single piece of this prompt, and the way the prompt is worded works really well with Dolly 2, and it should be no surprise because both GPT-3 and Dolly 2 are made by the same company, as I explained earlier. And yeah, just so many amazing generations from this prompt so really cool stuff really interesting stuff this one didn't work as well but this ended up being a small intricate device composed of many tiny moving parts it's designed to perform a specific function is incredibly precise and delicate it is a work of art and a marvel of engineering so this was mostly gpt3 generated i started the prompt with something along the lines of this is the description of this most incredible machine i've ever seen or something like that and you know we got a few variations but a lot of these really aren't all that interesting, I would say. I also did a variation of our famous lemon character here. I started to prompt out with this part right here. The lemon character was created, and then uh, GPT-3 filled in the rest, and it came up with an artist, Chris Riddell. I have no idea who that is. Basically characterized the whole lemon. And I started this one out with the prompt, you will never believe what I saw in a New York alley today. And then it came up with, dude, I saw a guy with a cat on his head, really. And then it, it literally made a whole conversation, but it actually worked quite well. Um, when making the uh, the image and then this was actually a viewer submitted prompt that I enhanced with Dolly 2. The original prompt was a shy cute cat hiding under the table and I just basically put it in a GPT-3 and then GPT-3 wrote this right next to it so it just basically described the uh, prompt a little bit more specifically and I think it might have who knows it could have been the same thing but I think it really gave some great images here. This one I would consider almost a flawless Dolly 2 result. So very interesting stuff, and that's what we're going to be doing today. As you can see, folks, 
Here on the left hand side we have GPT-3 where I can input any text I want and make my generations, and then here on the right we have Dolly 2, which of course will be generating all of our amazing imagery. So first things first, we're going to use GPT-3 to complete uh, prompts that already exist or enhance prompts that already exist. So we'll take the, the basic Dolly 2 uh, test prompt, an armchair in the shape of an avocado, and I want to see if GPT-3 can enhance this prompt. By the way guys, when you use GPT-3, if you click this little settings button here, there's a bunch of settings you can mess with, including what model you're using, because there's older and newer models you can switch out in between. There's a different temperature over here, which should sort of adjust the randomness. You can adjust how long um, the generations could possibly be. Uh, frequency penalty, presence penalty, the best of, and uh, yeah, there's a few settings you can mess with here. Anyways, we're gonna see what we get from this. Okay, so it sort of adds like an ad like description and again if we're not happy with this we can always delete it and retry i mean that wasn't bad that could have produced an interesting result and there you go an armchair in the shape of an avocado would be a very unique and interesting piece of furniture it would certainly be a conversation starter and add a touch of fun and quirkiness to any room so we'll see if that little bit of text enhances the uh, the original right here which is this classic armchair image and there we go uh maybe it enhanced it maybe it sort of made it more a little bit more like an ad definitely uh good results here nonetheless these are all definitely armchair avocados i think you guys could be the judge of whether this prompt was enhanced or not uh, it's it's close though. It could be it could not be. I mean, they're all really good though This one's really good and this one's also really quite good I think it made it a little bit more like an advertisement and we can also use our own ideas in our head to sort of start off the prompt in GPT-3 and see what we get instead of just enhancing a prompt that already exists for example I could say I just had a really great idea for a gaming toilet which is actually a prompt that already exists, uh, sort of in the Dolly Mini and Dolly 2 space, but I thought this would be fun to play around with. What if there was a gaming toilet that had built-in console and games? You could play your favorite games while you relieved yourself. Well, we can take this and uh, see what we get. Hopefully this doesn't give me a thing that's saying, oh, this isn't allowed. I wonder if we're going to see a guy relieving himself on the toilet playing video games. It looks like, again with Dolly 2, you got to be careful sometimes if you want an image, like a product photo, you really got to specify it because this time it came up with the drawings. And it sort of was getting there, but it like it was like, oh, this is like an idea and then you get stuff like this. If I just put product photo in the beginning of the prompt, will this change it? Most definitely, most definitely, we got a, a product photo of a gaming toilet, it sort of combined like a gaming console with a toilet, which sort of makes sense. Uh, Built-in console and games in the toilet, definitely visible. <laughs> Good stuff nonetheless, very interesting generations. Oop, I accidentally downloaded that instead of saving it to my collection. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, I think this one worked out at the end of the day. And I also wanted to follow up this one with, I just had a really uh, good idea for a new product and then just sort of let it come up with a new product. A new type of toothbrush that is battery operated and pulsates in order to clean teeth more efficiently. The to this toothbrush would be especially beneficial for people who have braces or other dental appliances. Not really a huge fan. Okay, wow, it really wants to do the toothbrush stuff for some reason. I think we gotta be a little bit more specific. In inspiration from those little floating chairs from WALL-E, if you've ever seen that movie. I'm gonna give it, I have a new idea for a new product. It will allow the user to never have to stand again. It's a story you can sit on while you're a stool really gpt3 sometimes gpt3 is lazy anti-gravity device there we go that's what i want to see product photo so it's basically got magnets air pressure and all sorts of other parts of the description and we'll see what we get from dolly 2 Ooh, these are very interesting product designs i actually really like this some of it's sort of like very rudimentary but i like this one this one is so crazy looking it's sort of like like these are all definitely something that you would sit on so dolly 2 is sort of picking up uh what the other ai is putting down this one's very interesting very futuristic looking and i really like this one but yeah this was a pretty successful prompt nonetheless this one we're starting off with i just took the most beautiful photo of my pet and it just duplicated it See, this is why you got to go into the settings and turn up the frequency a little bit and the presence a little bit just to just to sort of deter that sort of uh, I'm sure it's a great photo, but we can't see it. Is GPT-3 trying to talk to me, guys? A little, a little freaky. Oh, oh my god, I moved to the bottom of the screen. How crazy is that? Just felt a little bit more cozy down here, so 
Anyways, uh, obviously this generation did not work. I will describe it for you. The photo is a tabby cat perched atop a bookshelf. The cat's fur is glossy and its green eyes are bright. The background is a cozy living room with a fire burning in the fireplace. Yeah, that's more like it. This will definitely get us a good photo, I think. We'll just plop that right into Dolly too. And there you go. This is actually really good. These came out good. It's not a- is that a tabby cat? I don't know my cats that well. But yeah, he seems to be on some sort of like a bookshelf and a cozy- like you can see the books in the background on the fireplace. Very cozy atmosphere to this one, without a doubt. And this one as well, he sort of is perched up there. This one, you can't really see the fireplace, but he is on a bookshelf. This one's also very detailed, really nice pictures. A little messed up here and there with the generations, but not bad nonetheless. Wow, this cat is really detailed in the fur up here. Anyways, I am definitely a fan of this prompt. Look at this strange creature I found while hiking in the woods. I will describe it to you, and we'll see what GPT-3 gives us. It has a furry body and a long tail, two pointy ears and four legs. It's small, about the size of a cat. It's brown with white spots. I'm not sure what kind of creature it is, but it looks like a ferret. All right, this is a really long prompt, and we will see if GPT-3 can take the whole thing. Or Dolly 2, rather, sorry. Oh, it took it. Doing some interesting science experiments with Dolly 2 today. And we just got kind of woods pictures. This is kind of a failure. I mean, vaguely some sort of a body in here. Nothing special though, nothing special. Oh wait, close. There's just not, there's just so much detail already taken up here. We can't make out that thing. This is kind of furry. This is just some moss. Kind of a little creature over there. Uh, can't really see much. This one's just another nature photo. Not really that great of a generation. Sometimes they don't hit, right? Check out this delicious new food I found in the grocery store. Again, sometimes GPT-3 is lazy. We'll try fruit instead. The fruit is called a jackfruit, native to South Asia. I guess we'll just give it a shot. I mean, food photography. Ooh, I don't know, is this a jackfruit? I don't know, is the jackfruit a real thing? You guys will have to let me know in the comments, but these photos are very consistent, so this leads me to believe the jackfruit is a real fruit. Pretty cool photos nonetheless, honestly. Look at this man riding his pet tortoise. That's one slow pet. Again, the lazy GPT-3. I will describe exactly what I saw in a sentence. This man is riding his pet tortoise on the grass. There's a man riding a tortoise. The tortoise has, is brown and has a shell, obviously. The man is wearing a blue shirt and a beard. He looks very happy. I guess we'll just take that one and we'll put professional photography in front of it. Oh, these are not so bad. <laughs> He's definitely wearing a blue shirt in every photo. Some of these are a little um, suggestive, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, this one's not so bad. He really is riding a tor tortoise. This one's probably the best one simply because of the size of the tortoise. But yeah, oh, these are a little uh, suggestive, I guess you could say. I had the weirdest dream last night. Here's what happened. Whoa, okay, gpt 3s going off. I was in my living room with my family. Suddenly a giant rabbit burst through the door. It was so big that it filled the entire room and it had a menacing look on its face. My family and I were terrified and we all hid behind the furniture. Well, I guess we can take some parts of this. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we're, we'll generate that. And wow, okay, we got some interesting generations. This is definitely the best one. That is a huge, ginormous, terrifying rabbit. That's hilarious though. <laughs> Very interesting to see an AI's imagination come to life. That one's also absolutely terrifying. This one's kind of scary, but it's not as good as the others. This one's also very scary. These are just scary photos. I like this prompt. We'll try this one again. Wow, okay, I was walking through a jungle when suddenly I came across a giant egg. The egg was as big as a house and was glowing a bright golden color. And then he follows along with the rest of the dream, but I'll just use this part because you can't put too much into Dolly 2 at once. Whoa, okay, interesting. It went for sort of the artist look for a lot of these, and they're all very good actually, I have to say. Most of these. Wow, that egg is huge. Very cool, very interesting. And I think we got one photo as well. With it, and the photo was probably my favorite. Yeah, there we go. It's just a giant egg sitting in the middle of a jungle. That's amazing. I love that. I actually love the basic idea that you could use Dolly 2 to recreate the stuff you see in your dreams. And uh, I think this is actually a pretty good example of that. But thank you everyone for watching. Truly appreciate uh, all of the support on my videos. And uh, yeah, check out a few of my other videos. I got some interesting stuff, uh, especially down in the description below. And yeah, check out that Discord so you don't miss any uh, Matt Video Productions uploads. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.